Hello again. This is part two of how do we mark a line with height. So in part video part one we've set up the line. So now I want to show you on site how do we do. So we go to the folder that we need, measure to line, we click here. Then we have to choose from the menu quick line. Okay. And then we've set up point one. We can click one. Click OK. Point two. As a end point, we click OK. Now it shows us height differences. Point 110 mil. Okay, we're happy with this. We click OK. Okay, now the line that we need is highlighted, which is mono 1 to mono 2. We have on mono 1 set a height, and on mono 2 we've set a height as well, which will be the invert at point 1 and point 2. We're happy to proceed. We have target height 1.6. Here's where we have target height. 1.6 okay so I want to show you that's the foundation we are doing all the houses the uh, left side is all prep and ready all marked blinded and then the right side is halfway through with the steel beams where we have in the middle a drain run so I've set up a pins along the line. I've marked the line first, here and here. Then on this section as well, where the pin is, here and here. And third point is over here. I've put a pin with the tipex mark for the invert. Then the boys can install the drain run to the correct invert levels, which I've marked on the pins. I'm going to show you how we, we mark this. So I take the controller here because I have to hold with one hand the pole to the pin and with the other hand I have to hold the, well, I have to hold the phone to do the record. So the prism is locked, we press distance. Okay, as you can hear now, if it's beeping it means it's locked. So now, when I lift the pole up to the height, as you can see, bottom of the pole, and there we have line offset, distance along the line, but if we go, if we scroll down a little bit, with the arrows just press down, then we have height difference. When we go up from the mark, it shows that is increasing so we have to go down and moving down on the pole and then as soon as it reaches zero yes that's the one height difference zero then we mark it so we repeat the same process with the other ones I want to quickly show you the other the other points as well so I take the controller and the pole we go to the middle point for example we do the same thing I leave the controller on the ground so it's easier okay prism is still locked I already marked it but I'm gonna show you and then I hold it along the pin And then I just either bring it up or bring it down just to have a height difference of zero. So now I'm under the point and then it shows minus 52, 51. So if I bring you up a little bit, slightly up and hold it there, it's gonna show 
minus 25 so when I bring up a little bit more up to the point where I marked it a little bit hard with one hand up minus six minus seven and then when it's zero we can mark it and then we repeat the same process with the last point so that way it gives us along the along the line at any point it calculates the gradient for each point what height it should be so I want to show you now the last pin where I've marked as well so I want to show you now if we go out of this screen okay we go back okay back one more time back one more time if we go back and we go to measure just to survey these heights and then we will see that the value of the height along the three pins will be different. So if I click distance, up, okay, target's locked. Okay, so if we start, for example, with the, this pin now. Target lock lost. Okay, target lost. We have to lock it again. Okay. Okay, it's turning to us. Yes, that's good. Lock the target. Okay. So we want to. Okay. So we're on a survey mode or measure mode where we want to survey the heights of the levels that I've marked so I'm gonna hold it straight to the point so we have here 5.790 at this end mark 5.790 so we go to point number two which will be the middle one so at the first point we have 5.790 Second point Second point, let me hold it here Second point we have 5.775 So that's 15 mil lower Okay, let's go check the first one 5.775 is the middle point then if we go to point number <coughs> to this first point as you can see 15 mil gradient down for drain so now I grab the pole I stick it to the line and as you can see here 5.730 so you can see clearly now that the three points that we have are heading towards one side which is the lower mano or point one i hope you enjoyed this one any questions please let me know have a good day